Hello guys, it's Dale here with new day trading analysis for Australian dollar Swiss franc. Um, before I go into the Australian dollar Swiss franc analysis, I'd like to do a little recap of trades from yesterday's video, because quite a lot of levels I was talking about in yesterday's video got hit, so uh, let me do the quick recap and then go into the Australian dollar Swiss franc. So right now you are looking at Australian dollar Japanese yen, 30 minute chart. And the first prediction I was talking about yesterday was this volume cluster and this level, this resistance. As you can see, the price went past it. So this one ended up as a losing trade. It hit stop loss. In case like this, when the price moves past a heavy volume zone like this, past a strong level, uh, what you can do is trade reversal trade, which means that after you take the stop loss, you wait for the price to return back to the level and then you enter reversal trade. In this case, it would mean long from the same level from 91.65. So long from here. That's what I do. And that's what very often makes back the money I lost uh, on the losing trade. Now, in this case, the reversal trade wasn't possible. Let me zoom it in a bit so you can see it better because the price turned a little bit before the level and tested that level, right? This was the level for the reversal trade, but the price turned around one tip sooner, all right? So no reversal trade from uh, this losing trade. As you can see later, when the price actually hit this level, the reversal would have worked, but I only trade first test, so I considered this a proper test, so I wasn't trading uh, this second test when the price actually hit the level. If I was trading it, it would be a winner, but I wasn't. So anyways, this was the first prediction. This one ended up as a loser. Now the next pair I was talking about was the Canadian dollar Japanese yen. In here, uh, there were two resistances I was talking about. First one based on this volume cluster, this was the level. Right here, this was the reaction. So this one was a winning trade. Uh, the second resistance was in here, 100.68. This was the reaction. Afterwards, there was a very strong macro news. This was the rate decision on the Japanese yen. My advice is never trade during such macro news. So in this case, it was absolutely necessary to quit this trade before this strong macro news occurred. All right. So Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, two winners. And uh, the next pair was the Swiss franc, Japanese yen. And in here we had this resistance based on this volume cluster. This was the reaction, not too huge, but good enough to take a profit. The second level hasn't been tested yet. As you can see, there was this huge sell-off when the macro news came out. So this level is still active because it still hasn't been tested. All right. So that's about the recap of the trades based on the prediction I sent you yesterday. There were three nice reactions and one trade that ended up as a losing trade. So let me now go over to the Australian dollar Swiss franc, where I want to talk about a new trading idea, about a new resistance, which is at 0.6220. It is based on a trend setup. It is based on this downtrend and on volumes, which got traded within the downtrend. So if I print the volume profile over the downtrend area, then you can see that the most significant volume zone was right here in this little rotation before the price went into this aggressive sell-off. This is telling us that sellers were building up their short positions in here or that they were adding to their short positions. And the reason I'm saying that those are sellers, institutional and strong sellers, is because from this heavy volume zone, sell-off started, right? So those were sellers getting ready for the manipulation of the market 
And then when they entered their short positions, they manipulated the market to shoot downwards, right? So this is what I think happened here. And this line, 0.6220, marks the beginning of that heavy volume zone, right? And this is where I think the price will react. So what we need to do now is wait for a pullback. And then when the price reaches this resistance, it is likely that sellers from this zone will become active and they'll want to push the price downwards from there again. All right, so this is the trend setup, a volume profile setup, which you can trade when uh, there is a strong trend like this one, all right? So we just need to wait for the pullback and take it from there. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about volume profile trading, and if you would like to trade alongside me every day, then I recommend visiting my website. This is it trader-dale.com and what I recommend is clicking this button to check out my educational and indicator packs. So when you click the button it will take you to this page and in here you can either get a lead pack which will teach you how to trade with volume profile or if you are interested in trading with order flow which is ideal for intraday trading and check out the order flow pack, which includes order flow software and also educational materials on trading with order flow. Now, if you want both, you can get this special Christmas combo, which will give you both for only $5.97. All right, a lead pack as well as the order flow pack. Now videos, this one, and also this one, that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack and the Oracle Pack. So check those out and see for yourself. All right, so that's about that. That's about today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in some next video. Or if you decide to join one of our courses, then I'll see you in the members area. So see you next time and until then, happy trading.